Well, now we're turning the mic over to J.D. Short. And J.D. Uh, is going to grab his, his instrument. And he's going to join us as well. This is J.D.'s Folk Revival debut. And we're glad he's here with us. Uh, and so, J.D., welcome again. Thank you. Happy, More than happy to be here. So tell my listeners something about yourself. Where are you from originally? I'm uh, originally from East Texas, but I've lived in New England for about 10 years. I live up in Lawrence, not okay. too far from and, Aaron. And, and you, uh, you, were, you went to Berkeley? I did. And you're now studying musicology where? Uh, at Brandeis University. There you go. Yeah. So we had a scholar here, folks. <laughs> um, so tell us about your song. You're, have you written a lot of songs? Uh, I've written a few. I've written a few. I, for a long time, mostly made like instrumental music, and then a few years ago, sort of decided, why don't I, why don't I try my hand at songwriting? What kind of instrumental music did you? Uh, I was originally more of like a kind of jazz background, but uh, you know, I had a soft spot for sort of that old kind of '60s and '70s type tunes, and uh, you know, sort of the the sort of progressive element of folk music for sure. All right, now you're writing songs now. I, I'm gonna because we're gonna get one song out of you. I'm gonna get these questions. My listeners, Aaron's answered these questions before, so it's your turn. My listeners, like you know, no, what is songwriting like for you? Some songwriters, you know, set aside three or four hours a day, or fifty and ninety days, or whatever. There's this sort of a routine discipline. Some songwriters wait till they wake up in the middle of the night and go, "Oh my God, I just had a dream." It becomes a song. Uh, some start with lyrics first. Some start with music first. Some are poets. Some are, what? What? What is? What do you have a process? Uh, usually, with with songs, I usually start with the words first, um, and I can sort of. I do try to put time aside to make a tune, but usually it's line by line. Like this song was line by line. It took seven years to to write. And what's the name tune. of it? It's uh, called "Where Have All the Tigers Gone." Where have all the tigers gone? Live in the studio. J.D. Short, go for it. All right. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have all the time? Have all the tigers gone? Long time ago. When will you ever learn? What have you done? When will you ever learn? learn? Things will never be the same. Things will never be the same Where have all our forests gone That used to decorate the world we used to know The British have taken all our timber To build ships to plunder the whole world is there anything they wouldn't do? Where have you gone? Is there anything they wouldn't do? We can hope someday change their minds. Where have you gone? We can hope to change their minds. minds. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? British have killed them, each and every one. The sun never sets on the British Empire. The good Lord himself don't want to be in the dark with them. Will it always be this way? They have not won. Will it always be this way? Someday 
they will fall. They have not won. It stands that they will fall. fall. It stands that someday they will fall. They have not won. It stands that they will fall. J.D. Short, live in the studio. Where have all the tigers gone? And that kind of, a, there's an inspiration there, too, as well. Thank you, J.D. That was excellent. Thank you very much. Now, do you have any of your music out in the world? Or? I actually do. Um, on one tune on Spotify, uh, it's called Queen Elizabeth's Blues. Um, it's under you, you know, John D. Short. There is a J.D. Short out there already as a blues man. The, there, there is. I, I sort of run the risk of uh, mistaken association. Well, especially if you name. throw a blues in there, because that's his Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. <laughs> Mississippi blues. But anyway, J.D. Short, thank you so much. Thank you. It's Aaron Tornberg, thank you so much. Thank you. For joining